Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of December. So I've already done one for December. Feel free to go back to that one. I will post it at the end. It's just another one. I'm not going to date these weekly anymore. I'm just going to do them, you know, and they're going to be for whatever they resonate in the month of December. This will not be for everybody. It's for somebody. Somebody has been in a situation that's unbalanced, um, not being, not getting um, some sort of reciprocation. It's like it's a one-sided situation. Somebody isn't, there's not equal playing ground here, whatever it is. Um, not getting what they deserve, okay? So, again, I was saying that this reading is for whoever, whenever, during the month of December. But it is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to thank you for the 100,000 subscribers. If you didn't see my live last night, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And for those of you uh, that um, celebrate the holidays, Merry Christmas. Somebody is needing some sort of closure of some sort. There's lack of, of victory somewhere. Somebody just needs to step over that finish line. Just step over the line. This is feeling incomplete. And you could be feeling incomplete because you're waiting for something. You're waiting for that last whatever it is, to balance out your whatever, life. Feeling incomplete, I need that one more thing to, you know, feel complete. Mmm. Yeah, something is definitely incomplete here. It's like there's a lack of closure. There's a lack of a new beginning. It's like, I need this new beginning. There's a new beginning on the horizon, but holding on to something still. Like I said, somebody needs to just end something, and they're not. Five of Swords. Oh, I hate this card. I really do. This is a card of power struggles because of ego. Wanting to control a situation or wanting to some, you know, it's about control. And pride. And power. Somebody is wanting to the power. Holding on to the power. That's the sword of power. Somebody is holding on to the power. And they're holding on. This is holding on as well. The death reverse. Holding on to a dead end. Holding on to something and it's getting old. And somebody's holding on to the power. Yeah, it's getting old. Whatever that is. There's a feeling of emptiness here. And this is also a card of severing ties, using that sword to sever some ties. So, you know, it really looks like there's one last cut that needs to be made to bring balance to your life, whatever that is. Ooh, yes, there is. Could be, you know, from somebody that is verbally or mentally abusive. We have some bitterness. We have some resent here. This could be the other person. Could be you. I don't know. We have somebody here who is harsh and bitter and resentful. And there's definitely some power struggles. Absolutely. Harsh communication. Ooh. Somebody is restraining themselves, holding in, keeping something a secret. Decision has been made of some sort. They're about to make a decision. Waiting for the right time, perhaps. Holding it in. Waiting for the right time to make this cut. Interesting. Oh, so that you can have the wish fulfillment? You can get the blessing, the reward that you deserve? So this is a blessing. It is a blessing that... Let me get some more cards before I go any further. Mm. Mm. 
You know, when something comes to an end, it really is a blessing because these are endings that need to happen. When you step over that finish line and you make the cut, you will receive a reward sent from heaven. A true blessing. Wish fulfillment. But you may need to be assertive. You may need to assert yourself against a person that is in control. They have taken your power. You've let them. And maybe, you know, as you've been restraining yourself, somebody's been restraining themselves. They know that they need to make this cut. They've been holding on because, you know, out of love, right? Out of unconditional love, right? But if there's no reciprocation for unconditional love, then that's not fair to yourself, so yeah, we have somebody here who is wanting unconditional love, who is offering unconditional love, and the person that they're dealing with is not reciprocating. They're treating them uh, not very well, harshly. And now there's an opportunity to make that cut so that wish fulfillment can come in, but you have to make the decision to make that cut, to take the power back into your own hands so that you can start over with your new blessing. So I think that your intuition has been talking to you and you're probably coming to the point of making that decision to stop playing games with somebody that is not nice. You're dealing with a mean-spirited individual who is keeping you stuck from wish fulfillment. You want to see the cards? You might want to see the cards, maybe. We have somebody down here. It looks like the man. Okay? It looks like the man. The cancer man. Not a lot of people. It could be the woman. It could. Yeah, you know, whatever. That has really good intentions. Open for love. Ready for love. Ready for love. Okay? The, whoever the man is, I think, in this dynamic is ready. They have good intentions. Um, they're, re they're open for unconditional love and they're, that's what they're offering. And they've been waiting for the right time and needing to step over that finish line with some, something or somebody that has caused a lot of imbalance in their life really need to complete this cycle. This is the completion of a cycle. This one is too. So that you can get the blessing. You have to complete this cycle like you have to. You have to go within and find your power, your inner power, to make the cut that is needed to get your wish fulfillment. So I think that this is a month of taking back your power, making the decision to open your heart, perhaps, to a new blessing, something like that. There's wish fulfillment coming for some cancer here. New partner, new sexual partner, instant attraction, spark, you know, the, the fire gets lit. There's room for expansion and growth and a whole lot of passion to be had with this connection. This is a new, this is a new spark. Which could lead to a full-time, long-term commitment, something solid, something long-term. This is long-term, solid. This is the Ten of Coins. This is like, leads to extreme abundance, family, relationship, marriage. I mean, fantastic. This, what's that? Is that Taurus? Virgo? It is. Taurus, Virgo. So this is extreme abundance with perhaps a an earth sign. Instant attraction, which leads to 
extreme abundance. Here we have Aquarius. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But this is like, this could be a Scorpio or a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius that somebody is holding on to that needs to go. I'm going to be honest here. This is Scorpio. It's reversed. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's reversed. It needs to go. It's detrimental to the to your wish fulfillment. We got somebody here that is impacting wish fulfillment. And we have another person that just wants love. I just want love. And now there's a new opportunity, a new flame, a new spark, a new partnership being offered. I mean, all the aces are offered from God. It's like God says, here you go. Here's your new exciting opportunity. And there's going to, there's an opportunity to, you know, really grow with this person. There's a lot of passion to be had between the two of you. All you got to do is take it. Take it. Stop crying over that spilled milk. Stop crying over that loss. I mean, the five of cups reversed. There's a new opportunity here. Absolutely. Somebody is beginning to realize, I want this new passionate partner. Five of Cups reverse, new op the new opportunity is here. And I think that whoever you are, this is the Cancer, is seeing that, you know, I'm ready for this new opportunity. I'm letting go. I'm letting go. Yeah, it looks as though the decision has probably been, been made to burn that bridge from the past. That's what it looks like. It looks like somebody has made the decision to... <laughs> grab a new offer there's been fear of change there's been indecisiveness there's been delays and it's like no I can't delay this anymore and somebody has decided that they're not they've held on long enough to this mean spirited individual and time to burn this bridge. I think the decision has been made. Decision made, decision made. I want my abundance. I want something solid. I want something stable. I want excitement. I want passion. And there's no victory in success it's crying over what has happened and holding on to this dead end situation. It's impacting growth. Now they have a new offer from somebody or they have a new interest. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. So I don't know if you're dealing with an earth sign, but this is like a solid, stable offer with somebody that is really practical, down to earth, reliable, responsible. This person doesn't fly by the seat of their pants. They have a plan and they follow through with their plans. Very loyal. But it's been delayed. It's been delayed because somebody was holding on to the dead end situation for so long. But the decision, I think, has been made to head in that direction. Interesting. Ooh. Whoever you're dealing with is very beautiful, strong, and courageous. And you are, you're being called to, to do that as well. Find your strength. And maybe that's what you needed to do. Find your strength to let go of whoever it is that's been holding you back from wish fulfillment. The Leo now here as well. But this is a card of mental strength to let go of the debt of this, whoever this person is. There's somebody here that is not reciprocating. They're not nice. And I think that you guys are finding your strength this month to head in a more practical, exciting direction. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Interesting. Going to be a lot of attraction between you and this new person. Very, very um, magnetic attraction. Magnetic, okay. Yeah, no more crying over the loss. And that's you. 
That's that's you, the Four of Cups reverse, an offer of love. Now either you're making an offer or they're making an offer, but this is it's probably gonna be accepted. Whether you accept it or they accept it, this is I mean, this is good. This is like I, I I'm ready for love. I'm ready for love. Don't wanna be alone anymore. I don't wanna be alone anymore. A Taurus. Virgo. I don't have all my symbols up there. I'm not sure what that one is. That might be Venus or Mars or Mercury. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. I don't know all the signs. I know that this one is Virgo. I think this is Taurus and Virgo. I know this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Cancer. This is Leo. Either way, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone anymore. I don't want to grow old alone. I'm not happy alone. I don't want to be alone. So it looks as though any there's an opportunity for a new partnership here being handed to you. I mean, they're, they're right across from each other, Cancer, okay? Look at this shit. Wish fulfillment, you, new partner. So you have a new partnership here that can lead to a lot of abundance. And mess up your single. If you're single, you probably, you know, there's an opportunity to not be single to get into a long-term relationship with this Ten of Pentacles. Build a new legacy with this person. Move in together, you know. Everything changes. Yes, togetherness. Let's do it together. This is a card of togetherness. Working together. Collaborating. Learning from each other. Communication. But there's fears. There's fears of the unknown. So it feels as though there's some sort of hidden hidden force here that is perhaps bringing your two people together. This is a hidden force. Something going on behind the scenes that is bringing you two people together. Whatever this hidden force is, has caused the breakdown in communication from this other person so that you could get the true wish fulfillment. So, yes, the universe works in mysterious ways. So it looks as though there's some, the universe or the, the hidden force has broken down some communication with somebody else so that you could unite with this passionate partner. And break free, because the Ten of Wands break free from this. So it's time for you to release this burden, to drop the baggage and stand up and walk in another direction. To let the past go. Because you have a new partnership here. You do. You have an opportunity for a new partner in which the attraction and the chemistry will be through the roof. And lead to something, it could lead to something really, really abundant, stable, solid, and long term. So yeah, I feel like the, there's probably something that is being dropped. And something that is being gained. Dropped. Gained. So yeah, we have a dropping what no longer serves me, receiving a new passionate opportunity. Okay, that's what we got going on here. So could be with a Leo, could be with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be with the Pisces. I feel the other opportunities are probably... The ones that hurt you. And they, the cord needs to be cut because it's holding you back from wish fulfillment. Let's get a couple of these. Cancer. There's an opportunity for a new partnership that could uh, light your fire.
where you guys could even end up moving in together or whatever the case is. <laughs> Here we go. Separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. This is the wrong one. This is going over here. That's dropping it. Somebody is needing to step over that finish line so that they can get the wish fulfillment with whoever this new person is. Seriously. Commitment, long-term commitment. That Ten of Pentacles is long-term commitment. There ain't no doubt about it. Like, forever. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This is soulmate connection it's in the card. But this person doesn't look like your usual type. They may not have the same figure. Or they may not be the same skin color. Or they may um, not listen to the same music as you. Who knows? Who knows? Your soulmate is not the same. And you guys get this card a lot about the looks and stuff. So... I don't know what is up with that, but maybe that's a life lesson you need to learn. And the world card is a lesson, and it's reversed. Choose wisely. So somebody may have not learned their lesson by choosing based on looks. I don't know why this comes up all the time for you. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Anyway, there's an opportunity for a new partnership that could grow into something abundant. But this person is not your usual type. Don't let their exterior hold you back from something that could grow and be stable and solid. Because it looks as though the exterior, and that's based on ego right here has caused a lot of problems in your life. Anyway, that's what I have. <laughs> Attraction on the bottom of the deck. It's true. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. It's about enjoying the moment. Beauty comes from the inside, really, right? It does. True beauty comes from the inside. Anyway, Cancer, you have a separation that leads to a new soulmate connection. That's, that's the truth. So I feel like this is a month where you drop this and move into something much, much more exciting if you can look beyond the surface. Good luck.